Hello everyone, this is MTR Fab and this is uh, another addition to my lawnmower series. I have um, kind of was rolling along here and realized that I should probably share this before I get too far along. So here's what I got. Um, I think last time I left you, I was talking about cutting all these pieces and I did. Um, some things to talk about here are the way I chose to join these together. So to keep the joints, all right, so there's a couple dis discussions here. Um, there's a reason why I chose to do these joints this way, and this would be what I would consider just a butt joint and angle iron, right? We just butt it up to the material and we tack weld it. Butted it up to the material, tack welded it. Now, these two pieces and these two pieces were just straight cuts, no big deal. If you notice this back bar, same deal. All one piece and it's cut. So we've talked about these joints in previous videos, but this is an open corner joint. And if you look around, there's plenty of ways I could have moved this while I was tacking it together. You're pretty much looking at its finished tack state. Um, that as I tack a piece on, I level it to this tube across using a big tube, right? And we get it to lay flat across all the pieces. And you tack it. You might have to bump it with a hammer. You might have to cut it free. You might have to tack it again. But these joints being open like this is what you want so you can move the joint around. Also, when you're done, you've, you've effectively welded uh, quite a bit of surface area that you know has to be properly welded because you can't bridge that gap unless you have some control. So your, your joint is super strong this way. I only had to join the two smallest pieces. That way if you fail to create a nice joint or mismeasure, it's the smallest piece you're throwing out. The most work I put into the smaller pieces because they're easier to handle and there's less waste if you mess them up. So if you do it with a bigger piece, yeah, you know, might be able to use it for something else, but uh, you know, th that's my logic behind the way I do things and the way I build. I will cut all the easy pieces as the long ones. The last couple pieces that have to be small and have to be jointed will, you know, be the ones I choose to make all the detail work in. It hastens the way you can put stuff together. So after I was happy with all this squareness, I'm gonna go through and weld it up. So you can see pretty much everywhere it's tacked. There's some places that I'm going to choose to hit first because I'm going to use my heat to my advantage. So I can move this thing ever so slightly here and there. I'll get you a view from back here. So this thing is pretty square. I'm, I'm happy at this point. It's good enough. So I'm going to move forward. I'm going to start welding it up and I'll show you what it looks like after. Here's the frame all kind of pretty much all welded up. It's welded up enough that I plan on actually cutting it off here again. Like I discussed in the last video, sometimes you take some steps backwards. Um, and that's to help me skin this whole thing. But I think the next step I'm going to actually build the um, lid for this. And I'm going to do that by using this as a template for the rest of it. Basically, the angle iron is just going to go over the top of this. And I'm going to put a piece of sheet metal in here, just like I did the bottom. And then we're going to lay these switches in the cover. Or at least this switch. I'm going to extract it from this right now. It's one of the things I'm going to do today. Uh, I've got some wiring stuff I'm hopefully going to show you in a little bit. And see, this came out pretty, pretty straight everywhere. Happy. I 
wanted to stop for a moment to show you where we're at now. So this is what I mean by skinning it. I've just got sheet metal and I'm going to go around the outside of it all the way around. And then I'll make a lid that's basically the same thing, a frame with a skin on top. And that'll hold the switches and anything else, the antennas and stuff that's going to be on the outside. But you can see I've just tacked it on and honestly this is probably as much as I'll weld this. Um, it needs to be waterproof so I'm likely going to go through and uh, seal this whole compartment with RTV from the inside when I'm done. Um, just because I happen to have tubes of expired product that I get through my work occasionally. And um, I know it's really good stuff and it'll do exactly what I need to do. So, uh, get that going. I just figured I'd stop for a minute to show you that as I go because it's going to get darker and darker in here and harder and harder to see what's going on. But before I started tacking all this stuff together, I, you know, made sure my joints were good and that everything was filled that I wanted filled and if I couldn't, I, I tried not to fill stuff from the front, right? So I've got welds on the inside because and then I don't have to grind them down and waste costly abrasive materials and stuff to clean it up so I can just put skins on it. But we'll see how much more, I mean, you could even... Uh, trim this out after if you wanted to with like uh, aluminum, you know, or rubber. I mean, you, you could do a ton of different things. But honestly, I think this will look fine. So that's probably what it's going to be. It's just tacked all the way around. Half of these tacks are going to get covered up by the, the cover lip anyway. There'll probably be a piece of weather sealant material up through here. Um, but we'll get there when we get there. Onward. I wasn't able to get out to Arizona this year, so I guess I'll bring a little bit of Arizona to me. Yeah. What's wrong with that? So it's going to be a short video. I didn't have much time to work on this, and this is kind of tedious work anyway. So I'm done for the day. This is as far as I got. You got the front side, the corners, and the back. So now we kind of have a box. And I can start laying out where I'm going to put my electronics. So this is going to go inside. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to mount my batteries. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to mount the saber tooth and do all the kind of locationing and drilling before I mount this to the rest of it. Make it a little bit easier for me to work with. But this is pretty much done as much as it's gonna be for now. Looks pretty good, everything's... I was actually really happy with how it all lined up. So next week we're going to move on to hopefully some electronic stuff and or making the lid. The lid has a lot of detail in it and I've got to make some plans for that stuff based on where I mount stuff in the bottom here. So I will share that with you next week when we get there. So this is MTR. I'm signing off. I will see you guys next week and we'll get some more of this project done. Please like, comment, and subscribe.